Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. Ooh, neat. By me, Game of Woof 6 of Fallout New Vegas. On the last Let's Play, we did some minor things like selling stuff and whatnot. And then came to this mountainous area where, you know, there's um, mutants. And we were able to safely go around the mutants and, uh, how did we open up the one down there? That's weird. Hmm. Oh, I guess for repairing the robot that we repaired? Well, we resolved this conflict nicely by, uh, you know, um, repairing the robot. And then Rhonda's like, oh, thanks, you repaired my robot. I'm going to leave now, and none of my uh, super mutant guys are going to fight you. Nothing? Nothing? Maybe the person that might be in there isn't going to get killed. Now I guess we could always go with the com let's see what the computer here is. I could just randomly look at those things and bam. So, how's it going? Took you long enough, so can I go now? How do you know I was here? Yeah. Sorry. I assume the only reason you'd fight past a horde of super mutants and pick the lock on my cell is if you heard my cry for help on the radio. Yeah. But maybe you're just sightseeing. So, since the door's open and all, can I go now? Oh, I think he's a companion. Name's Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I'm the mechanic around here. Probably because he used to be Miguel's. Whoever he was. How about if you let me go, huh, boss? Uh Sure, boss. I'd be happy to prolong my captivity and psychological abuse to tighten some lug nuts for you. Really? Boy, look how much it would be to repair everything. Oh, but, uh... Back again? Uh... You forget about me already? My name is Rob... Alrighty then. I'll just head out. Alone. By myself. Into the dangerous waste. <laughs> It'll be fine. Sorry, boss. But as much as I like to risk getting killed by your side, you seem to already have some help. Come, Rue. Venture waits. Sorry, boss. Sure, boss. Name's Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I'm the mechanic around here. It's weird that I used to have a mustache. I was born just outside Mexico that City. That maybe marked it on? had a little ranch there. Old enough to know better, boss. Old enough to know better. You never heard of Petro Chico? Un amigo de Poseidon Energy. Eh, of course not. They were an oil company in Mexico back before the war. Well, boss, when a giant insane super mutant asks you to stay put, you do what you're told. Well, maybe you don't. But I'm just a broke down old man. Eh, it's stupid, boss. 
I used to listen to the radio broadcast just to pass the time. Well, one day the signal stopped, so I figured I'd try to find a transmitter. I'm a pretty good repairman, or I was before my eyes started to go. Anyway, I found Black Mountain and offered my services. But Tabitha decided I was useful enough to keep around permanently. Okay, I guess we'll do the same thing about telling him to, you know, piss off to the Lucky 13. What's up? And then having Ronald tag with, along with us and then tell him to piss off to Lucky 13. Then I go piss off to Lucky 13 and then... Uh, get him back up. Oh, is he? Anything's better than staying here. Let's go. Can I have those nudes? Actually, but it looks pretty good. Hungry. So, gonna go back to the lucky thirteen. Banana, 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 banana. I was thinking about this right now, that these guys don't let you pass unless you have the caps. And I guess there's like, maybe one or two quests associated with that, like you could ask maybe the kings to get you a pass. But uh, it's like, okay, who would come here and not have a thousand caps? Where to, partner? And also, what's his name? Once you to like if we run we might still catch Benny. Well, you might. I'll just be uh talk Okay. You really enjoy dragging me into Good call. I mean if that's what you really want, boss. Hey, as long as you're not asking me to go back to Black Mountain, I'm a happy old man. Yeah, you get to stay here with, like, What's a ranger that? dude, and, um, it seems pretty chill. I, well. Because, hey, while you don't have any windows, which is not good, you have entertainment, kitchen... Beds, toilets, works. What is this? Oh, more beds. Seems legit. Granted, I don't think I've ever seen a one sweet. of these things that didn't have a window. It's kind of a, why are you running like that? These places that didn't have a window. So you guys can teach me how to use power armor? Because I would like to have the power armor. Now I'll turn around. Turn the radio off. Actually, while we're walking there, is there anything good? Howdy, folks. This is Mr. New Vegas, and I have a good feeling about all of you listening. If you like news, you're going to love our next segment. The influx of the... There you are. A few of us wanted to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood, so we've set aside some of our recycled energy cells. We'll leave a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The paladins scoff at using recycled ammo, so no one should mind. I go over the rep contest site by a local crackpot. He spoke to a toy bear near one of our microphones. It's ghouls, I tell you. Religious ghouls in rockets looking for a land to call their own. Don't you laugh at me. I know a spell that'll make you show your true form. Cave rat taught it to me. Well, that's all I have. 
I mean, the guy is almost Wait, always right, so... Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. Now then, it is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood for meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty. I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. But I hope this will make up for it. I had the knights refurbish a suit of our power armor nice. for your use. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. Now I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? First, let's go over how to put it on. No! It went gambit. There. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you, not just the more mundane arms. You're a member of the Brotherhood now, and your gear should reflect that. Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. You've done so much for us that to do otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember that you will always have a home here. I wonder if you could ever get, you know, Oh, let's see him. Oh, never mind. If you could, like, uh... Oh, I can't see what I look like from the front. Also... Well, thanks, they gave me, like, the literal shittiest thing. Like, holy crap. Well, let's see how it compares to the other stuff. DT-14 versus DT-20. Three versus also three. Cool. Uh, and Greetings, else? my friend. Also, was I free to come and go as I pleased normally? I think the uh, things are over there. I heard some special squad of rangers is on its way to the Vegas area. I guess the NCR is trying to keep us here. Quite a bit. Okay, not the important stuff. This wasn't the monies. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Toilets. It's around this corner. So. Have you heard the news? Elder McNamara has lifted the lockdown. Good news for this store, let me tell you. I can't wait to start getting more goods. So what do you hear? Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Hmm. Actually, some good stuff. What's 51B? I guess I could buy it. Do I actually want to buy a thing? 25 and 6 versus what's mine? Hmm. I could sell you these helmets. Uh... Pleasure doing business with you. Let's take a quick look. Quick save. Have you found it? Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Oh, right. Somebody wanted me to, like, get a gun that they left out there. Pleasure doing Bye. Okay, let's see how these look. Oh, wow. These are the old models. <laughs> the thing from, like, I think th the first Fallout game. <laughs> I'm 
No. You crazy. Morning. I didn't like how they did power armor in the fourth game, where it went from a here's this great thing that you can work your way up to and all that shit. Like, you could get this armor. You, it's hard to find this armor, but you can get it, but you also have to learn how to, you know, wear it. To, oh, hey. I mean, I guess since the guy was in the military, he knows how to use it immediately. I'm not sure if the woman was in the military. The wife. Like, how would she know how to use it? Immediately. And that it turned into a, but I need it, might need it later kind of thing, you know? Can't use that stuff to help her current stuff, then, well, bugger me. No, I could. Wait, what? Oh, we found two of it. Huh. Yeah, we'll use that shitty power armor. 25. Versus that. Oh, we're looking at the brother to steal. What happens if we do it the other way? Right, because she picks it up from those dudes. And five. And see how it works the other way. versus 20. Hmm. Guess it's the same thing. Yeah, we have a little bit more damage output. What are you gonna do? That's agility, though, but that's fine. So I guess... <laughs> now we go see about the great cans. Because we really haven't done anything with them except for... Like... Get them out alive from... What was it? Boulder or something? How much else? Let's get rid of that radiation, too. Right away. So, do you have any, uh, talky things? What's up? But really? Oh. Somewhere else? I guess we have to talk to somebody in there, but there isn't a here's who you talk to thing. Huh? Yeah, you do. So the cub enters the wolf's den. What do you want, cub? Uh. Yeah. Have you now? Hmm. Well, you're a bold one, I'll give you that. But why should I do this for you? Yeah. Does
doesn't he? Caesar's representative tells a different tale. The glory of the great cons will be restored. And once the NCR is pushed back to California, all the land from here to the Colorado will be ours. I won't hear any more talk against Caesar or his alliance. The great cons will answer Caesar's call to war, and the NCR will pay for their crimes. Tell about you want to hear the story of the great cons? It's a long one, full of honor, glory, and betrayal. We have suffered, but we will regain our glory. Let's put the skulls. In a hurry, are you? Very well, then. Why do I have the great things cons came east out of the NCR 14 years ago? We ruled the wastes then and called no man master. But we underestimated the families of the Strip, and they drove us back to Bitter Springs, where we remained until the NCR arrived and drove us here. They allied with Mr. House, the self-proclaimed master of New Vegas. He supported them with the resources of New Vegas. Weapons, technology, caps. They were better equipped, and we could not stand against them. When the NCR came to the Mojave, we thought they would be easy pickings. We raided their caravans, their towns, their camps. They couldn't stop us. At least that's what we thought. They tracked us to Bitter Springs and surrounded us. So you're when basically our children, raiders? Our sick and old fled through a nearby pass. The NCR gunned them down. Yeah, let's talk about something else. You march all the way out to Red Rock Canyon, enter my home as bold as you please, and you have no idea who I am? Yep. You've got guts, I'll give you that. Well then, let me educate you. I am the chief of the great cons, the con of cons, if you like. This is my tribe, and these are my people. Okay, eat. I haven't seen you before. What brings you to the Great Cons? That's a complicated question. They've done horrible things to our people, to be sure. And I've gladly killed many of their soldiers in battle. But I can't bring myself to hate them the way Papa does. Things would damn sure be better for us if they were in charge than Caesar. I suppose if asked, I would. But that's a moot point, because Papa's in charge now. And he's not going anywhere. Papa is one of the best leaders the cons have ever had. He's kept us together through all of our hardships ever since we left California. Bitter Springs changed him, though. He started to really hate the NCR after the massacre. And sometimes I worry that's poisoned his mind. Nothing. Forget about it. I shouldn't be talking about this with an outsider. I really. We already gone through that. Name's Regis. I'm Papa Khan's advisor and right-hand man. I'm also the chief enforcer of the tribe's laws, so watch your behavior. Goodbye. And, and who you be? I've been warned about you. You were perilously close to making an enemy of Caesar, <laughs> and that is not wise. They're a tribe of fine warriors with many proud traditions and a glorious history. They will be worthy additions to the Legion. My name is Carl. Glorious Caesar has sent me as an emissary to the Great Khans as a token of our alliance. In exchange for Great Caesar's promise of all the lands west of New Vegas, the Khans have agreed to fight alongside the Legion when the time comes. I am one of the Frumentari. It is my duty to scout the waste in Caesar's name and make contact with any tribes that might serve a useful purpose. You might say I'm somewhere between a scout and an ambassador. I'm assigned here as part of the alliance between the Legion and the Great Khans. Though they have been cruelly oppressed by the NCR, the Khans remain great warriors. The Legion is honored to have such allies in battle. Okay, boy. Now time to you pilfer from your thing right over here, I think. Shh. Yep, wasn't the thing I was wanting to do.
Let's see. Miscellaneous. Carl's Journal. Oh, hey. Uh, I think I have to talk to you about you first. It's good to have you here. Hey, um, I have that guy's journal, so... You've been doing good things for us. Don't think I haven't noticed. What can I do for you? I don't know what I did. If we weren't in Khan territory, I would kill you where you stand. Caesar will be avenged. Boy, he went from zero to a hundred pretty quick. So... I like people with that kind of hairstyle. Mr. House isn't a man to be trusted. Not now, I'm busy. Do I have to, like, click on it or something? Or is it something later? Something else you wanted? Maybe I have to do all my papa. Hmm. I heard you try to convince Papa Khan not to join with Caesar's Legion. I'd like to talk to you about that for a moment. You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar, right? Trust me, you'll get nowhere just talking to him about it. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the great cons, and he sees Caesar Your as the face path is so that dirty. Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe, and to four voices in particular, me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. If you can convince all of us that allying with Caesar is a bad idea, you might be able to sway him. I have my doubts about Caesar, yes, but I won't publicly go against Papa Khan based on nothing more than doubts. I've heard rumors that tribes who aligned with Caesar in the past were torn apart and reduced to slaves. Prove it, and I'll back you. Oh, I have the book right here. You'd have to talk to them, but those two have been thick as thieves since they were kids. Convince one, and the other will come around. Ah, Melissa. She's a bit of a dreamer. Last time she was in camp, Carl filled her head with stories of serving the Legion as a speculatore. Personally, I've never seen a woman in Legionnaire's armor, so I have my doubts. Good. Oh, one more thing. Caesar's representative, Carl, has become fast friends with Papa. Carl's the one who has him so fixated on this alliance. You'll probably have an easier time of things if you can find a way to get him out of the picture. Carl talks prettily about the honor and nobility of the great cons, but I suspect his actual opinion is less flattering. Maybe you could find something he wrote that expresses that opinion, or trick him into losing his cool in the longhouse right in front of Papa. I would too, if I were you. So, do I give it to you now, or what? Something else you wanted? I shall wrap this episode up with a nice, here's the book. Ah, oh, you're... Let me see that. Filthy savages. Probably have to decimate the lot of them. Are these the words of our friend, Caesar? Great cons. Drive Caesar's dog out of our camp. If he's too slow to flee, kill him. Watch yourself. Hey! I wonder if they could actually move at a... Haven't I mean, a he might have not been here immediately at the time. So. I'm beginning to hear troubling rumors from my advisors. Would you know anything about that? Well, you just killed your ambassador to Caesar, so... I don't know. So where's the thing would be to talk to all the people? Ah, here it is. It changed. 
Go do these things before we go talk with the NCR, because instead of being like, hey, things could be a bit weird, I would prefer to be like, hey, um, they're really deciding to go with us. Well, that's going to be the end of this Let's Play. I would like to thank you all for watching. Please comment, because I like Good some comments. You. Tell me what you like. Dislike tips, tricks, otherwise. Where the fuck are they? Okay, some are here. There's a great con over there and one over there. What is the thing? Convince. Oh, that's that one. Convince. So she's just somewhere else. Comment, because I like comments. If you like, dislike tips, tricks, otherwise. If you like my YouTube, would like to see it grow, then please, yeah. mm. like, subscribe, and check out other videos. What does that sound? Uh, other videos, if you like. Spay new to your animals. That's the thing I can say. What's down there? There's a long way down to be down there. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? Hopefully, armor doesn't take fall damage. This place is kind of big. And oops. until next time, let's play. Find me a game of, of, of six of Fallout New Vegas. How do you keep your hair like that when there's an apocalypse? I know berries and something whatever so thanks and see ya